What is up my peoples? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Artie back with another video. I know I've been missing for like two weeks. I uploaded that last Kia video and I still haven't taken it to the shop. I've been super busy around the house trying to actually clean out this garage and remodel it. So I built a shed in my backyard and in today's video we're going to talk about the BMW E36. So my registration was due. I cut out a check and I sent out the check for my registration but since I'm new to California, well not new, every single video I say I'm new, but I've been here for like six years already. In California, you need to get smog checks, smog tests every two years. In Philadelphia, we have to get annual inspections. So a little bit different. I sent out a check, I didn't get a smog test, I didn't read the registration form properly, I was supposed to do that. So they sent me a letter saying that I need to complete a smog test and the smog will, center will electronically send it to the DMV and then I'll get my registration. Now, because I'm a bad owner and I garage clean these cars and I don't drive them because I don't have a lot of time to drive them, this car was parked for quite a bit of time. So initially I thought, because my car didn't start, I thought I, I just left something running and the car didn't start, I gave it a jump and then uh, it was the same thing next day so I'm like okay either something's draining this battery or the battery is just not that good. So why I'm super excited about this video we'll get into that in a little bit but I have 80% of the previous owner's receipts and paperwork. He was a really good owner as you guys can tell by the car uh, I'm the second owner, so he provided and gave me all of the receipts and paperwork. He had installed a uh, O'Reilly, I think it's called Superstar battery. So when I took it with the receipt of the previous owner to uh, the O'Reilly, they tested it and it was a bad sell. So I had to add, I don't even know the exact amount, I had to add some money. But I was, I had to get the same exact battery. That's not the battery that I wanted to get, but it's okay, it is what it is. So. Once I installed the battery at home, I had to drive the car. You have to drive the car a little bit for everything to reset properly. And then I took it to get my smog test. So smog tests are around like 60, 50 bucks, depending on where you go. But it's crazy. So you pay like 240 bucks. Well, 240 and some change I paid for this car's registration, plus another 60 something bucks that I had to pay for my smog test. So that's like $300 for a 1997 BMW. So that wouldn't be annually, that would be $300 one year and then $240 the next and then $300 the following because it's every other year. But that's all said and done. But the biggest part of today's video why I'm super excited is because when I was purchasing this car and I was looking for a second E36 through my whole life of ownership because I had one of these cars before, I wanted something that's going to be documented, unmolested, clean and I wanted to continue on just preserving and everything that I do, either documenting it on video or on paper. And this is why I'm super excited for this part. All right guys, so this is the exciting part. Well, at least the exciting part for me. So this right here is the factory BMW owner's manual that you would get back in 1997 if you bought a BMW E36. So this is just the part of the genuine leather that the Vadar seats came in and all of this paperwork. So this paperwork comes in handy. Now when I reset, well not when I reset, when I change the battery, this is the radio bypass code. If you do not enter that code, you will drive with absolutely no music, silence, and listen to that glorious E36 exhaust. But this right here, uh, this is where I'm excited about. So I always told myself I'm gonna, if I'm gonna get a car that's well documented and I'm gonna have the majority of the service records, the receipts, everything that uh, the previous owner and uh, myself, if I'm whatever I'm gonna do, I want it to be documented. Now I follow a lot of other YouTubers uh, that do the same exact thing. Now for me, black leather, black leather here. I thought it would be cool if I would be able to save all the receipts and the uh, stuff that I do on this car, just document it front and back, whether it be an oil change, a tire, or some certain part that I buy, just to have it in that folder. Instead of just putting it somewhere and junking it, I want it to be nice and documented in this leather folder. I don't think I'll ever sell that car, but like I said, if I do decide to ever sell this car, uh, I hope this little thing 
not it's not even a value thing like financially it's just something like cool for a person for any owner to have so like i do this with the porsche and with the bmw e36 so this is something that i'm really really kind of like excited about so even though i'm not planning on selling the bmw e36 or the porsche cayman gt4 these cars are something really really special to me i kind of always had this dream that if i'm gonna be able to get myself another e36 because like i said i had one of these a long long time ago i want everything like documented this is something that's like a soft spot for me like i love everything to be where it needs to be and just have everything like i i actually want to get a dakar scale car because i don't know why like i'm a grown guy a grown dude but i just like kind of like certain things i want to have with this car so i want to actually get a dakar E36 118 scale car and eventually hopefully when I remodel this garage put that on the shelf and have everything documented if I do in the future um, decide that I want to sell the car I'm gonna be able to pass everything to the next owner and have this car just keep it as pristine as I can uh, I really want to take it out I just do not have the time right now to take it out uh take it for a spin and i really do need to i feel like it's being neglected just being parked here but i was super excited where i got to actually do this binder and complete it i saw it on a lot of different youtube videos of the people that i follow on youtube where they have everything and even the original sticker that would be really really cool if i could get the original sticker for an e36 from 1997 but i mean it's kind of hard to come across a lot of things now for these older bmws like the toolkit, I'm missing one tool and it's just super hard to find or you have to go online and pay a crazy amount of money to get a factory BMW tool for the um, toolkit that's in the trunk. But I just wanted to make this video, share with you guys how important to keep it is the receipts because if you have the receipts, if your battery goes like in this car it went, I mean obviously I, I couldn't replace it for the brand that I wanted but I think it's called Super Spark, Super Start from O'Reilly's. Listen, I, I replaced it, it was a bad sell, it was still on the warranty, that's that. I mean, I didn't have to pay, uh, I paid a few bucks, but not so much money for the battery. And I mean, look, car's great, I'm happy, the binder kind of looks cool in my opinion. Just wanted to make this quick video update with the, all of you guys, and a uh, quick upload. Thanks for watching, if you're new, consider subscribing. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.